exhibition in the Fracture Gallery is based around the notion of reflections. The reflection of sound, reflection of light and also reflection of memory and uh, history over time. So I've chosen to work with the colours of ruby and gold. Um, the ruby red relates to chakra colours and the gold relates to, I guess, religious sites. So everything that I've chosen for the installation will be either painted, found as ruby or gold, um, and yeah, will have, a, I guess, a domestic connotation on top of that. Some of the objects that I've chosen, I've actually made myself, but I'm also very interested in uh, found objects, the things that people discard from their homes. There's actually hundreds of found objects from op shops. So even though once I've finished installing today it will have a, a domestic feel about the space, what will happen is over time I'll, I'll come into the space, use it as a performance area and I'll be moving things around but very interested in making sounds in the space. So it, I'll be looking at the way objects rub, rub against other objects, I'll be making things in the space and yeah just generally been quite playful and exploring as many different sounds that I can make from the objects that are here. So I'm particularly excited about the lighting that's going in. Half the space will be flooded with a ruby light and the other half of the space will be flooded with gold. Again going very much back to chakra colours and a reference to temples. When I first met Elaine, we both had a body of work exploring glass and sound. 13 years ago, I started working with glass, uh, mainly sculpturally in a regular exhibition sense. Then seven years ago, I found that glass uh, had some exciting sound potential. She had already over a thousand individual glass percussion instruments that we could draw upon. Meeting Eugene has taken the potential of working with glass and sound out of the recording studio and into live performance. Federation Square have commissioned a major new work by the Glass Percussion Project. The artists are actually going to be performing inside the space between the two walls. We've come into Fed Square tonight to install. Uh, we came in at 10 o'clock, mainly because we have to keep the thoroughfare clean during the day. So it means a late night, we'll probably be here from 10 till 6 in the morning. I think with me on this occasion where Showtech are coming in and installing, I guess, the basic structures before the glass is really hung. It's quite exciting doing what we're doing and I couldn't do it without help. I couldn't put scaffolding staging up and I can't get up and rock climb high enough to, to hang glass in you know, the areas that we want to. So for me, it's actually really exciting. I'm excited to see the, the glass installed in the space. It's the first time that I've had that entire body of work from seven years installed in one space. 
I think when people walk into the atrium area, it will be interesting to see how they react to the work. For me, the work is as much about the reflections of light as it is about the reflections of sound. It's not just about creating this calm, peaceful environment. It's about every muscle that you've moved to make it. I don't just look at that and think, oh, isn't that pretty? I just think of the movements that I make and I, I love that. Over the weekend we realised that there's a couple of little things that we could make that would um, just fill in gaps either musically or visually. So today I'm doing a little bit of everything. Um, it's the last opportunity to blow glass before our performance. Okay, blow. Stop. It's it's been 12 years now of my relationship with Glass and it says everything that I want it to say and I think in terms of sound I couldn't have picked a better, more resonant and probably more surprising medium to work with. The joy of making glass and the performative aspects of what goes on in the studio is as exciting for me as the exhibitions and the final performances. <laughs> 